Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SAF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from 15th January to 1st February. The SAF has a new cardiac fitness center housed at the National Heart Center. This one-stop medical facility will cater to pre-enlistees, regulars and operationally ready national servicemen who require advanced cardiac screening before they are enlisted and deployed for military training and operations. Those found to have abnormalities in their initial medical examination will undergo these advanced cardiac screening investigations, which exceed the standards recommended by the American Heart Association. Speaking at the launch of the Cardiac Fitness Center, Second Minister for Defense Chan Jun Singh highlighted the benefits of a close partnership with the National Heart Center. In MINDEF and SAF, our philosophy has always been to design our healthcare system to be integrated as part of a national system. In this way, the SAF can benefit from the advances in the civilian healthcare system. With the new cardiac fitness centre, pre-enlistees and servicemen can enjoy greater convenience and faster medical clearance for IPPT. Pre-enlistees can also look forward to shorter enlistment waiting times, while servicemen benefit from a shorter deployment downtime. The Navy's MV Swift Rescue returned to Changi Naval Base after spending 20 days in the Indonesian-led multinational search operations for Air Asia Flight QZ8501. The plane went missing on 28 December last year. MV Swift Rescue's return also marked the conclusion of the SAF's deployment for the operations. At the homecoming event, Dr. Ng thanked all servicemen for their professionalism and commitment. A minute of silence was observed by all present for the victims of the accident. The SCF has enhanced its emergency medical support system with the introduction of the SCF Emergency Ambulance Service or EAS. In outfield situations where there are no medical officers or ambulances on site, serious casualties would be evacuated to a casualty collection point in the training area. At the same time, an EAS team comprising a paramedic, a medic and a driver would be activated and ready to pick up the casualty. After stabilizing the casualty, they would send him directly to a pre-designated, restructured hospital. The EAS will serve 16 casualty collection points located in SCF training areas island-wide. Staying vigilant in peacetime is more important now than ever, said Mr. Chan Chun Singh as he met with operationally ready national servicemen in the 807 Battalion Singapore Infantry Regiment at Jurong Island. He commended the men for taking their mission very seriously and doing so with pride and honor. Dr. Ng Eng Hen delivered the keynote address at the Shangri-La Dialogue Sherpa meeting at the Fullerton Hotel. He identified four key themes for discussion at the upcoming Shangri-La Dialogue. The Sherpa meeting is a precursor to the Shangri-La Dialogue, which is widely recognized as Asia-Pacific's foremost defense and security summit. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. And here's what's buzzing on our social media channels. The SAF marks 50 years of its establishment just as Singapore celebrates 50 years of independence. In his Facebook page, Dr. Ng remarked that this golden jubilee is indeed a historic milestone for both the country and the SAF. To mark this special occasion, the SAF will launch a slew of programs this year that will reach out to all Singaporeans. As we tell the SAF story together, the story of pioneers who painstakingly built up the SAF, the personal sacrifices and commitment to all servicemen and women, and our journey to give strength to our nation. Happy 50th anniversary, SAF! Over the Cyber Pioneer Facebook page, catch the update in the first SCF 50 event with the SCF 50 at Vivo. Held at Vivo City over four days from 12 to 15 February, visitors get up close with military hardware like the Rigid Hall inflatable boat, the Heron unmanned aerial vehicle, and the Spider air defense system. Let the SCF Music and Drama Company entertain you with their spirited performances or catch the sunset ceremony. There's something for everyone at SCF 50 at Vivo. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through our social media channels. This is Mike from Power98, signing off.